In this problem, for the case of atomic hydrogen, we have to find the wavelength of the first three lines of Balmer series, the minimum resolving power lambda by d lambda of a, a spectral instrument capable of resolving the first 20 lines of the Balmer series. For calculation of lambda, we can use this equation from Bohr's model 1 by lambda is equal to Rydberg constant and for hydrogen atom we can write 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square if transition is from n2 to n1. For this transition this is the wavelength of photon emitted. For Balmer series it is from some n24 so it is some from n22 so 1 by lambda for Balmer series is first three lines of Balmer series that means if these are energy levels it is n is equal to 1 it is n is equal to 2 3 4 5 First line means transition from 3 to 2, second line means transition from 4 to 2, third line means transition from 5 to 2. So these are the three wavelengths. After putting, we have to put for first line, for first line, this n is equal to 3. Similarly for second line, n is equal to 4. Likewise we have to put this energy is less, wavelength will be maximum. This energy is more, wavelength is less than this. And this is the maximum energy, so wavelength is minimum for this transition. After putting the values, we can find the values of lambda as, this lambdas we can find as, so the maximum wavelength in this case is 657 for this transition for first line it is about 657 nanometer for this it is 487 nanometer and for the third line in which n is equal to 5 the energy is maximum and wavelength is minimum it is 434 nanometer approximately so these are the answers for the first part now coming back to the second part of this problem in the second part of this problem, <coughs> we have to find the minimum resolving power. So what do we mean by resolving power? As we go above, the difference between these energy levels decreases and energy levels are become narrower. If you go above, then as we go above this difference, this difference continuously decreases and the energy difference between the levels continuously decreases so for a instrument it is uh, difficult to resolve difficult to distinguish or dis or difficult to differentiate between the two nearby wavelengths suppose the wavelength corresponding to this two transition is lambda and wavelength corresponding to this two transition is lambda dash there is a very very small difference between this two wavelengths, these two nearby wavelengths. So this will occur for higher values of n when these levels, when the difference between these levels is become very very less. So difference between lambdas will also become very very less. So it is asking that what is the ability or resolving power of a spectral instrument that is capable of resolving the first 20 lines. So first 20 lines uh, are at least uh, resolvable <coughs> for resolving power we have to calculate this lambda by d lambda i am taking as d lambda d lambda is the difference between the two nearby levels lambda by for calculation of lambda by d lambda i am differentiating this equation so let us differentiate this equation to get this kind of term d lambda by lambda or lambda by d lambda so on differentiation of this term we will get d lambda over lambda square this is equal to 
R. This has differentiation equal to zero, and it will be one, two by n cube, and one term will be of d n. So, on differentiation, this is zero, minus minus it will be minus. It is minus, and one minus will be from differentiation will be plus two d n divided by n cube. It is d lambda by lambda square, and we need d lambda by lambda. So minus d lambda by lambda. I am separating this term, and one term be one term will be one by lambda. It will be two r d n by n cube. Now put in place of one by lambda again this value minus d lambda by lambda, and one by lambda is r. This will be one by four minus n square. 2r dn by n cube. 1r will be cancelled, and from this d lambda by lambda, after some manipulations, it will be minus 8 dn divided by n into n square minus 4. D lambda by lambda is coming negative because as we go up, then the difference. Then the lambda is also lambda is also decreasing. Like from this transition to this transition, lambda is decreasing. These are the two nearby. This is the uh, first line. This is the second line. These are the two nearby wavelengths. And in these two nearby wavelengths, as we increase n, we are increasing the number of lines. It is first line. It is second line. As we go from first line to second line. Then wavelength is decreasing. If we go from second line to third line, then wavelength is decreasing. So as we are increasing the value of n, the lambda is decreasing. So d lambda is negative. This lambda is denoting that point. D lambda is negative as we are increasing the value of n. If we want to take the mode of d lambda by lambda, so then this minus will go. This whole term is positive. Now coming back to the situation, we must have the resolving power which can differentiate the first twenty lines. So this instrument must tell us clearly that this is the first line, this is the second line, this is the third line, this is the fourth line. When it will when it will measure the twentieth line, twentieth line will be corresponding to this twentieth line will be corresponding to. The transition from twenty-two to two, like first line is n is equal to three to two, second line n is equal to four to two. In the similar manner, twentieth line will be from twenty-two to two. I am going one higher because twenty-first line will be very close to this twentieth line. If it clearly resolve the twenty-first line, then there will be no, there will be No confusion between twentieth and twenty-first. So I am taking its resolving power such that it can differentiate between twenty-first line and the twentieth line. For twenty-first line, it is twenty-three to two. This d lambda by lambda I am inverting it, and it can be written as lambda by d lambda. I am just Taking mod of it, the value of it, it will be n into n square minus four divided by eight d n. And for two nearby wavelengths, this d n value, d n, n can only take the integral values. So for two nearby wavelengths, this d n is one. So putting this equal to one, this is eight. I am taking the transition twenty three to two for this. The resolving power lambda by d lambda. This is equal to after putting n is equal to twenty three. Twenty three square minus four divided by eight. After putting the values in this equation, it will give nearly the value one five zero nine. So this is the final answer to this problem. Resolving power of the spectral instrument.